I think UGA is kind of confused about who we are. The medical school decided to increase its class size. And in increasing the class size, there was that conversation about how to do it. Um, and that was with the Board of Regents. And together with UGA and GHSU, they decided to have the additional students here. Um, and that's why we increased the size by 40 students. And they're here in this interim um, partnership. It's actually an interesting dynamic because they're GHSU, UGA. You know, and they are, in some ways, very much so UGA students and very much you know, GHSU students, but they are officially part of the GHSU class, but they do feel that they are part of two campuses, which is actually kind of a nice thing. I consider myself more of a UGA student than I do an MCG student, and I wouldn't say it's necessarily the fees, but more of just the atmosphere, because we're here, we're around UGA students. Um, around other UGA grad students and there's really no connection or communication between us and MCG. I haven't talked to one MCG student and um, I mean there's no bad feelings towards them. It's just that we don't ever communicate or have any type of relationship. I do have um, some connection with the Augusta students. Mostly they're people I already knew um, before we started medical school and so I do have some friendships with them, but it, it would be nice to have more interaction with the Augusta class. I think having been through UGA through undergrad, I think I'll always consider myself a UGA student. Um, but this year and last year were definitely different, and it is sort of a half and half middle ground where we do feel still the same part of MCG as we do UGA. I don't, I don't consider myself a UGA student or an MCG student because we're, the campus and the curriculum is so different from MCG and Augusta that we're not really even a part of that and we're kind of distanced from UGA so we're, we're kind of our own entity. We don't, we don't fit in with either, either world.